In 2018, I made a video on the Extrude tool, and in the six years since then, there have actually been quite a few updates to this feature. In this video, I'm going to cover five main topics. First, the dashboard interface. Second, sketch regions. Third, the interface in the graphics area. Fourth, new depth options. And finally, bodies. So here I am in a part model. I've got a couple different sketches in here. I'm gonna start out by selecting this simple sketch. And then from the mini toolbar, I can use this icon to start the extrude tool, which is also now the keyboard shortcut X. So I will click on that. And if you take a look at the dashboard interface, first off on the right hand side, we have a tool tip that explains what the extrude feature is. There's also a hyperlink that you can click on that will take you to the PTC help information where you can go to part modeling extrude tool. Let's take a look at the left-hand side of the interface. So when I made that video back in Creo 4, Creo 5, you just had little buttons, little icons on the dashboard and you could hover your mouse over them in order to see what they did. Well, now the dashboard interface contains text as well so that you don't have to remember what the different buttons mean. You can just click on them or read them in order to understand what they do. All right, for this one, let me change the depth of this feature. Let me change it to something like 400. And I'm gonna click on this little arrow here in the graphics area. All this looks good. So I will hit the middle mouse button in order to complete the feature. So I've got my first extrude in the model. Now we'll take a look at probably the biggest enhancement to the extrude tool since my previous video. And that is the use of sketch regions. So if you take a look at this sketch, it's very complicated. It's got multiple overlapping regions in it. With sketch regions, you can now choose to extrude part of a sketch. And in order to use sketch regions, you need to change your selection filter in the lower right hand corner to sketch region and then pick the parts of the sketch that you want to use first. And so I'm gonna go to my model over here and let me select this region. I can use the control key for selecting multiple different regions. So now that I've got all those different ones selected, I can hold down the right mouse button and then we can activate the extrude tool. Alternatively, you can go to the ribbon and start the extrude tool. And here you can see a preview of the feature that would end up being created. Let me change the depth of this to a much smaller value. And so that is good. So let's hit the check mark in order to complete that feature. Now I wanna create a, another one and I wanna show you a different way of selecting your sketch regions. And so let me rotate my model so I'm looking sort of like straight on at it. You can see my different blue regions on here. And with sketch region selected, you can drag a box over the regions that you want to pick. And so for example, if I drag my box my box from right to left, it will grab any of the different regions that are completely enclosed by the box. If I deselect and then go from right to left, well, now it's going to grab any of the different regions that the box touches. So let me go back over here and I'm going to extrude this way. Let me get all these different ones in here. Let me pick a few other ones manually that I didn't get, like these ones here. And so I like this, and so now I can hold down the right mouse button to get to the extrude tool, and I can create this. And I'll go more into bodies later on, but I can create this as a brand new body, as a different body in the model. Let me change this depth over here to a value of 60. I am happy with that, and hit the check mark. So there we have an example of two different extrudes that were created using sketch regions. Okay, now let's take a look at the interface, how that has changed. So first off, let me start off with the extrude tool without anything selected. Then I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button. So 
here we have our mini toolbar and also our right mouse button menu. And so you have the ability to create your extrude from here. You can make this as a surface. You can remove material and you can thicken and you can get into defining your internal sketch. And we can change our placement collectors, select the bodies. This is new because we didn't have bodies back then. And also you can define a side two depth and also specify what depth option that you want to use for side two. And here's the option for creating a new body. So you had right mouse button functionality before, but you didn't have all these choices because bodies weren't there and they added more functionality to this menu. Okay, so now with this one, let's say that I am going to generate this as a surface and I am going to remove material. When I hold down the right mouse button, I have the trim quilt collector as well available from the right mouse button menu. I do have a surface in this model that is hidden. That is why I have the ability to select a quilt to trim with this extrude tool. All right, let me cancel out of here and I'm gonna hop over to an assembly model that contains this very quickly. And I just want to show from here that if we create an extrude at the assembly level and then hold down the right mouse button, one of the choices that we have from here is the intersection components collector. In other words, which different parts in the assembly we want to have affected by this extrude operation. Let me cancel out of here and then go back to my part in its own window. I'm gonna grab a, another different sketch region in here. Let me change this to sketch regions. By the way, uh, to toggle back and forth between sketch regions and geometry in your filter, you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift S. And now if you take a look at the lower right hand corner of the screen, I have sketch region in my selection filter. So let me grab this particular one over here. And now I'm going to choose the extrude tool. And so here you can see a preview of the feature. And now let's take a look at the depth drag handle. You can right click on top of there and you have your different depth options. You had this back in Creo 4. It was just fewer choices in here. So for example, you could choose two sides through all from the pop-up menu and you also have the ch choice to define your depth in the other direction. Also, if we take a look at our depth drag handle itself, in Creo 11, they updated the look of the drag handles so that it was a little more obvious what direction you are dragging your different drag handles. And the last part of the interface that has been updated since then, if I hover my mouse over that depth dimension, well, from over here, we have the ability to flip uh, the side two, and also from here we have our different depth options available to us. And so those are some of the user interface changes. All right, for this one, I am going to cancel out of here. And now let's take a look at some of the new depth options. And in order to unclutter the screen, I'm gonna hide a couple of my bodies and we'll talk more about bodies later on. So now I'm just looking at my sketch over here. And so let's turn on the datum plane display. Oh, actually I have a plane that's hidden that I want to use. Let me select this and show it. So I'm gonna use this in a moment as the depth reference for one of my extrudes. Okay, let me start off by selecting a couple of sketch regions in here and then I will start the extrude tool. And right now I don't see any preview of the extrude being created just because I have both of my bodies hidden, including the active body that the geometry would go into. Let me choose that I'm going to create this as a brand new body just so that I can see the preview in the graphics area. All right, so let me start off by taking this depth and I'm gonna drag it out over here. I'm gonna use two reference and the keyboard shortcut for doing two reference is holding down the shift key when you are dragging the depth drag handle. That 
existed forever in Creole Parametric, but what I do want to show is that you can now have a negative depth in the side two direction. So let me right mouse click and hold and I'll choose side two depth and I'll make it variable. And right now it's going to a positive value in the second direction, but I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna drag this drag handle so that it'll actually be negative in the other direction. Let me change this to a value of 100. So now your extrudes do not have to start or even intersect your sketching plane. So that is good for that. Let me just hit the check mark and I'm going to edit definition in a second. Just wanted to show you that particular depth option. Now let me select that extrude and I'm going to edit definition and you have two new options for your two reference depth. So let me go to my depth inside one, which is two reference. There's now this drop down list where you can choose that you want to offset a distance from your reference or you can translate a distance from the reference. Let me choose offset first. And let me choose that this offset is going to be a value of, let me use a value of 60. And so when you're using the offset, it's going to be normal to the reference that you selected. So since this plane is at an angle, it's measuring a distance of 60 normal to that angled plane. But let's change our option from offset to translated. If I change to translated, well, when I click that a moment, take a look at what happens to our drag handle. I'm gonna change this to translated. And so now it is going in the extrude direction. The measure, the distance is measured in the extrude direction. One of the interesting things about this is that we can have two reference depths in both directions using the same reference. So let me choose two reference and I'll choose this plane over here and it's going to that plane. In this case, it's also a negative value, but we can also choose that we want this to be offset a distance. And let me change this to a distance of 40 and hit the enter key. And so here we're having one depth measured normal to the plane and the other depth being measured in the extrude direction. So there's a lot of flexibility there. And the last thing to mention in this video is that we have the ability to create new bodies here. So for example, with this lump one, let me choose to create a new body and this will end up being created in body four and it has that feature. Let me expand the body over here. Body three is currently empty. And so there you can see the different extrudes that are associated with the bodies. And multi-body modeling was added in Creo 7, and bodies are just containers for solid geometry. And each body can have its own material. So for example, I can select this body, right mouse, click and hold, and choose assign material, and then I'll choose the other button. Let me go to my legacy materials, and I will grab steel and then hit the select button. So there you can see steel is now associated with body one. Let me make it visible again. And let me go to the materials folder in the design items folder. This by the way, was added in the time since my original extrude video. And let me take body two over here. Let's make it visible as well. And with body two, I'm gonna right mouse click on it. Let's assign its material and choose other, and I'll go to my legacy materials once more. Let's double click on the aluminum 6061 and then hit the select button. So that is a different material and your different bodies can also have different appearances. Let me go to my view tab and then go to the appearances drop down menu. Let me scroll down and find a color that I like. I like this one over here and I will select body two and then hit the middle mouse button. So that is a slightly different color. Let's grab a, another appearance. Let me scroll down even more and let's grab this one. And then I will choose body four to have its own color. Let me turn off my datum plane display. And so there you can see 
how we have multiple different bodies with different materials and with different appearances. One last thing that I forgot to mention regarding bodies, let's say that I select this particular sketch region here and I'm going to use it to perform an extrude. And let me change the depth of this to a smaller value. And then I am going to flip the direction and I'm going to have it remove material. If we take a look at our body options tab, we can choose whether it's going to intersect one particular body or we can have all bodies. In this case, it is selecting this body over here or with selected, you could choose multiple bodies if you want it to affect that uh, more than one body. So let me choose remove from here and select body one as the body that should be affected by the extrude operation. So that is good. Let me hit the check mark. And there you have it, the choice to cut geometry from particular bodies. So there you have it, a bunch of updates to the extrude tool since Creo Parametric 4.